What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. Let's dive straight into Bitcoin. Thank you for your support. Perfect. So what I'm seeing at the moment is that I can see that we have had this sort of head and shoulders pattern over here. And we have lost the neckline, which I posted about on my Twitter earlier. The, the link is in the description. And then we broke out over here with a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. And at the moment you're hitting on resistance. So if we... So we're basically now in a technical target, but we can get held up by this line. And I'll go go to the daily time frame to show you this line over here. So when we first initially dipped, we held this level over here. And I've uh, put in this resistance point going through here. And these these two points over here from this head and shoulders back in um beginning of the year, like the, the, the second quarter of the year. Perfect. So what we've actually done today on the daily time frame is retested that support and the last that's where you close exactly and you can see if we zoom out a little bit where you bounced off was that larger where is it 1414 over here and then with that you you tested this swing low and we came back up and then got back above that to test it as support so this was your resistance point for down here and then support support for this line so you're basically coming into an apex because i was talking about this large cup and handle over here and then this is your your handle over here so you could technically go down to there but until the apex but we don't want that and you're coming to a sort of apex through these two over here so you might get a breakout to to one side obviously before the the apex so 23 it could take up until then but i think if we're going to lose this support right now this is the most key support so let me just put that into the chart so about 49k basically i'm just gonna uh yeah, around yeah, around 40, 49k with today's daily candle. If I moved it to the side, you've almost come down to test it. So that's good. You've you've tested it with yesterday's daily candle. So let's go to the 4H time frame. So you're still in this larger ascending triangle, basically. So we have almost come down to test this, and you've got back into the ascending triangle. So uh, it's it's gonna cut. It's like really come into this apex now. So it's all about breaking a back above this yellow line, and you invalidate this basically. And if we were to come down here, on the four H, yeah, I think it would be a lower low if it closed down here. But on the daily time frame, look, you would actually be getting a lower low. So it's all about this level. This level must hold. This low over here, this green line. Let me mark it out for you. I'm gonna bring it a bit down. Yeah, let's do that again. So it's all about this green line now. 49k, yeah, we're just going to say 49k. If you lose 49k on the daily time frame, we're going to roll over to here. And you can see there's no support over here because it was a massive wick down to here. So um, you do have a double bottom here. So this may step up, actually. One bottom, two bottom. See here, you lost the 200 on the daily time frame, which is like a risk of losing the, the trend on the daily, basically going, to, going into a downtrend. But as long as you're staying above the 200 EMA, you're going to continue in an uptrend. And Bitcoin always likes to go to that point where it's like gives a bear market scare and whatnot or gives a uh, trend change scare. And so, of course, you didn't back test it as resistance. You didn't hit your head on it. You got back above. Confirm that support with those wicks because you were down here and the balls pushed you back up. The balls pushed you back up. The balls pushed you back up. You did have a, a wick to the upside, but just have to wait to see if the next counter is going to be a bearish engulfing. Or what's going to happen and of course boom you got you had higher lows anyway once you had a green candle and then you got back above this and you never back tested that support so that could be where you come to for bitcoin once you once you lose this like once you get here you could have like a a bear pennant or something like that or another bearish pattern and then come back lower because once you lose this low you are putting in a lower low especially if you're going to come down here and so it's highly likely that you might even lose this if you don't hold that support and come back to this area down here like potentially even as low as these lows and we don't want to lose that and that's where we could say yep think about all your positions in crypto basically so yeah that's basically bitcoin i we need to do something like this right now where we break a back break back above the yellow line hit your head on the 20 find support on this maybe even wick back down to the pink before making a high high and then you're creating this ascending triangle in this larger ascending triangle because remember when we were down here and we broke this i said that once we reach our technical target we're going to come down and form a daily double bottom basically and that's what we're seeing on the daily time frame now if i remove the drawings 
So one bottom, two bottom. So we need to hold this low basically. You can wick below, but you just need to close a daily candle above that green line because as I said, you'd be creating a lower low with the bodies and it's all about the bodies, not the wicks. So break back above this, break above this. Meet your technical target out of this ascending triangle over here at 52,311. And then once you break out of this larger ascending triangle, the resistance is 52,000 and you've got the 55 EMA there acting as confluence. And once you break above that, confirm as support, which this is acting as confluence to that because it's telling you you're going to break above that resistance. And when you're, once you're above that resistance, if you can hold support, then this is valid basically. If you lose this support, you're going to fall back into the triangle. As long as you hold this support, you'll come back into the apex and eventually get up to this target. Back test this. You want to back test this, the outside of the larger falling wedge basically. And we've just drawn all the patterns that can potentially do that. So I hope you guys understood today's video. In short, it's all about breaking back above the head and shoulders support over here, resistance at the moment. Confirm as support, break this resistance gets to this technical target over here. If you lose this, so if you get above it, lose it, you need to hold this. If you lose it again, then you're coming back down to here. But if we can hold it, get back above it, because you basically break back into this when you come down, then you're gonna meet this target. And then once we're uh, above this, we're gonna come back down, confirm this as support, and head to this target at 57,600. But if you do lose this low again, you break back into this. And as long as you get to the apex and break out, confirm 52K as support, you're getting to this technical target. Again, if you lose this, you're gonna come down to 46K. Perfect.